Art Week is in full swing, showcasing art and artists who are sharing their creative passions, not only with SoFlo, but with the world. The cornerstone of the week is Art Miami, the city's longest running art fair, and together with its sister fair, Context Art Miami, it will feature over 240 artists from 17 countries. So we spent some time at both and also scoped Miami Beach to give you a sneak peek at this year's experience. Take a look. I'm here with the man of the hour, executive vice president and director of Art Miami, Nick Korniloff. It's good to see you. Nice to see you. Over 30 years, this has been the hub, the creme de la creme of art fairs for Miami. Yes. Why? Well, this is our, you know, Art Miami was the original contemporary the original. Model. Yeah. And um, going into its 32nd year, we have been a part of this community and watched the growth of Miami become a cultural epicenter globally. Here you have an opportunity for emerging artists, younger artists, the right. next generation of creatives to have a space to showcase and have their art celebrated. 10 years of that right. is so an accomplishment. It is, it's tremendous because they've received that recognition and there's nothing like an art fair to get that immediate response. And so you have this emerging mid-career cutting edge artists and galleries that are representing living artists uh, we have plenty of living artists at Art Miami, but Context is that next up and coming generation. We're standing in front of one of the best art installations, which is really like emblematic of Miami. It is, <laughs> this totally embraces Miami. This is from the 95 year young Alex Katz, who's coming off of a major retrospective at the Guggenheim in New York. And it's just an example. I mean, if, if you, you know contemporary art, you have to know Alex Katz. And here's to you for, as I said, being very influential and having the foresight to give people a space to be seen and celebrated, but also to keep the arts alive in a time where they are dying. Well, it's uh, very kind of you to say that, and it's important to keep the creative spirit of artists alive and America's youth continue to be creative. So this continues on forever, and Miami will always be at the forefront of that. This yeah. is called Surrounding Islands, um, and this features Biscayne Bay yes. and an island in Biscayne Bay. Who is the artist? Okay, so this is um, two people who are actually one artist. So it's uh, Christo and Jean-Claude, and they were married in the 60s. And uh, it is all about how people from Miami uh, interact with the water, you know, whether they're on it, you know, fishing, looking at it, whatever, it's all about that. Art Miami and Context Art Miami are two of the exquisite fairs you can experience during Miami Art Week, but we're going to take you to one that is equally as spectacular, Scope Miami Beach. Let's go. We are joined by president and founder of Scope Miami, Alexis Hubschman, good to see you. Pleasure. You're back. Bigger and better this year, how so? How so? Well, uh, this year is our 21st year. We're super proud of what we've grown. We've done fairs all over the world. This is certainly our jewel in the crown. Um, we've grown exponentially this year, even though typically it's been very organic. So I, t I don't always notice how it's grown. This year's first year for myself, I'm even a bit wowed. What is that wow factor? I'd say the wow factor all comes from our experiential kind of performative edge. You know, right now we're in the exhibition hall, but we also have our new contemporary program, which is all things artist related. You know, the morning starts with wellness, we go into erudite panel discussions, mm -hmm. and then the evening becomes sort of a nightlife experience. Alexis, 21 years ago you said art matters. What's been the most rewarding part of seeing all of this? come to life and be the success that it is? Uh, you know, I'll tell you, it's, we're very much focused on emerging galleries and artists. And to watch them grow up through the ranks with us, you know, ones that have started with very modest spaces, what we call our breeder program, as we grow them through sort of our program. So it's really this sort of evolution of growing alongside them, with them, is I think what's uh, been the most gratifying. 